In the long run I think Varys eventually planned to co-opt Ned the way he co-opted Tyrion. Ned being executed, or Sansa being executed to get him to comply, would also set off a political firestorm that Varys wouldn't necessarily be able to control. Hello everyone, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any new updates on your favorite TV series. Ned is a powerful political figure who commands respect, and that would continue to be the case even if he were forced to take the black, and who knows what might happen between Ned leaving King's Landing and getting to the wall. He's the sort of guy who could, say, vouch for fake Aegon when he shows up, or give him advice or guidance, etc. He could be useful, but not if he's dead. The Starks are also carrying out war in response to Ned's capture, the only way to head that off a conflict that Varys can't easily manipulate and that probably isn't what he wants going on when Aegon shows up is for Varys to convince Ned to play ball and take the deal. Finally, Varys and Littlefinger are in many ways fighting a proxy war here. Varys would know that Ned's capture had Littlefinger's fingerprints all over it and that Baelish had engineered this. I'm also convinced Varys knew all along that Baelish and Lisa had killed Arryn, he knew what Littlefinger was capable of. Even setting aside the other stuff, if Varys wants to head off Littlefinger's ambitions, it's in his interest to do what he can to get Ned to take a deal and get out of town. He just didn't anticipate that Lit Leafinger would get to Joffrey and convince him to buck the plea bargain and execute Ned, something Varys didn't want. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.